Also, there's a new and exciting treatment for prostate cancer. It's less invasive and has fewer side effects, and we'll show you that. Fox 11 News In-Depth starts right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Any kind of cancer, any kind of cancer strikes dread into the heart of most people. But prostate cancer, that's especially feared by men because the treatment has always posed a risk to the male sexual organs. Now, some men have even refused surgical treatment out of fear of those side effects. But now a new technique called the Tulsa technique is treating prostate cancer much differently than before with much fewer of those dreaded side effects. Joining us to talk about this new technique is Dr. Robert Prinsenthal, the medical director for RadNet's prostate program. And Paul Colaccio, he handles marketing for RadNet, but he's also dealing with prostate cancer. Now, look, this can be a very uncomfortable conversation. Let's just start with that. And, and it's an important one. So we're going to try to deal with this very delicately because we're going to be talking about some things that, that we just don't normally talk about a lot. And so what are the conventional treatments, doctor, for prostate cancer and prostate disease? What are the drawbacks to those therapies before we get into the new one? Good morning, Hal. Yes, and November is Men's Health Month, and thank you very much for shedding some light on important men's health issues. Uh, prostate cancer is frequently detected with a PSA screening blood test. The government found that it wasn't effective, but prostate cancer and breast cancer are really two sides of the same coin. Same number of men and women are diagnosed each year, and roughly 30,000 men and women die of their disease each year. We've done a great job with women's health with mammography, but now with prostate MR, we can do the same for men with what we call a manogram. So prostate MR is now recommended mm -hmm. by the Urologic Association to be performed prior to a biopsy. And that'll allow us to reduce the number of unnecessary benign biopsies and be more accurate when we find in stage prostate cancer. So to answer now, your what question, I understand is that cancer, this is a procedure. Let, let me jump in here. What I understand is this is a procedure that instead of doing a, I think they call it a prostatectomy, this is done a different way through the urethra. So let me go to Paul real quick here. You had the old fashioned way and you know the new fashioned way. So tell us yes. how, how those two things work. Well, I was diagnosed two years ago and a little over two years ago and I had my surgery um, two years ago uh, last month. And I had the traditional prostatectomy. That was the best alternative for me at the time. Um, if I had known of the Tulsa uh, method at that time and I was able to wait, I might have waited. But based on my diagnosis, based on what was available for me specifically, I selected the prostatectomy. Now, Dr. I understand that what happens when you do the prostatectomy is that you, you lose a lot of things in, in the sexual reproductive realm. And, and with the new technique, which is going in through that urethra and, and doing something with laser beam, that you can, you can save a lot of trouble. You can, you can have a lot less damage. And that's what I want you to explain to us. Sure, certainly. Tulsa Pro is an incision-free, outpatient, safe, a uh, program for treating and killing prostate cancer and ablating prostate tissue. So it's done with precision and control where we can contour and not uh, treat anything outside of the capsule of the prostate. What you're seeing now is real-time MR thermography where we can monitor the heating effect and we can precisely limit the heat to the prostate itself only. So we heat the tissue to 55 degrees Celsius, which is the proven method of killing and eradicating the cancer cells. And we can spare the important neighboring organs such as the nerves, the rectum, and the urethra so that men have much improved outcomes with this procedure. It takes three hours, they go home the same day, and they're back at work and two days later with really no harm. There's also a cost factor. The old one is covered, but you still end up with a massive deductible as you did. Uh, and the other one is not yet covered by insurance. So let's just talk about that for a second. Um, yes, yes. The one I had, I have I have a great insurance and my insurance covered the majority of it, but I was out of pocket a, a large sum of money, um, which uh, some of it was because I was out of network with my surgeon. 
So that was part of the problem. But the money I had to pay was worth it because it was my health. And and I know not everybody has the finances, but luckily I, I'm understanding that with this Tulsa procedure, eventually it will be covered by insurance, hopefully. And it's also in comparison to the, the price of an actual surgery and hospitalization, it's much more affordable. When do you think, doctor, that insurance companies might begin to to uh, provide coverage for this sort of a thing? Or do we have to wait a while because it, it is so new? Well, fortunately, we have two years of outcome called the TAC trial, where we've managed to identify the long-term cure rate and the reduction of the important side effects. So we're hoping maybe in the next year we'll get insurance coverage for this vital technique. And I know that uh, RadNet is is one of three outfits in the country that are are doing this technique. I suspect that'll grow. Uh, Paul, let me let you sort of have the last word here. We, we're under a minute, but you know, as a guy who's been there, kind of done that, what, what are your thoughts and what do you want to let people know? I would like everybody to know that they have choices, and and not all of our diagnoses are the same. But just know all your choices and know what you're getting into ahead of time, because knowledge is power in a situation like this, especially when it has to do with your function and your body. Well, knowledge is power, and you gentlemen have made us very powerful today, and I, I appreciate the knowledge you've shared. Thanks so much for being with us, and we'll be right back after the break. 